R S E V E R A N C E Perseverance. It takes a lot of perseverance to get through that word itself. <laughs> <laughs> the reason most people never achieve their goals is because they simply give up. Life was never meant to be easy. It's a constant struggle with the extreme lows and the extreme highs. Remember the times when it's most important to persevere are the times when you'll be most tested. Quoted from the unknown. I conquered the beast. Two weeks ago, my peers and I attended a camp known as Camp Beckett which new freshmen attend every year as a way to bond and to get to know each other better. At this camp, even though I learned a lot about my peers, I discovered more about myself ever before. One activity that sticks with me today and inspired me to create this piece was climbing a giant alpine tower in eight degree weather with several layers on that weigh a ton. Before climbing, I witnessed most of my peers climb before me. And I noticed that most of my peers did not make it all the way to the top. Despite most not making it all the way to the top, I wouldn't necessarily call them failures or giving up or not persevering. People are quick to judge people and say they gave up or didn't persevere, but in actuality, they may have achieved the goal of theirs. Their goal may have only to been make it halfway or make it quarter way or only even make it to the harness. Furthermore, I approached the tower and the, an instructor next to the tower asked me what would be most challenging for me while climbing and the goal of mine for this activity. I responded back by saying, this here tower is no match for me, and that if I had any challenge, challenges, I had to find out as I go. My goal is to make it all the way to the top, and I'll persevere until I get there. It was time to climb. It was all or nothing, do or die. The signal to climb was to ask the following words in a fancy tone. On belay? <laughs> the instructor who was responsible for the belay will respond by saying, but lay on, <laughs> then I have to say, climb me, <laughs> followed by them saying, climb on. <laughs> After I recited the following words and got permission to climb, I was on my way to the moment of truth. As I took my first step up the first obstacle, which was a log with holes that branched off into two different ways to continue climbing. The two different ways was either to continue up the log or continue up a cargo net. I was clueless of which one to choose, so I asked my instructor, which one would be more challenging? My instructor responded back by saying the cargo net. I turned back around and faced the tower and began climbing up the cargo net. The cargo net threw a lot of punches at me and they were very difficult to dodge due to the swaying of the cargo net as, as I climbed. My foot occasionally got stuck in a cargo net and it was very difficult getting a size 14 out of those small squares. <laughs> Once I finally figured out a way to get my foot out of those squares, I continued climbing. I finally got past the first part of the cargo net and slowly approached the second part. The second part had a huge space between the first part and I was worried about my transition to the next part. I turned back around and told my instructor, I want to come back down. There's no way I'll be able to make it to the top. The instructor who asked me what would be my goal, what's my goal and challenges for this activity responded back by saying, remember what you told me. You said you want to make it all the way to the top and will persevere until you get there. Without being able to respond because I knew he was right, I continued climbing. At this point, the ball was in my hands. I felt like Jordan in game six versus Utah with 5.6 seconds left. I had to make a decision. My fingers started to numb. I began to get fatigued and the height started to scare me. I was almost at the top and I could hear my peers cheer me on saying, you can do this, Will. As I, slowly, as I slowly approached the top of the Alpine Tower, I just, I crawled onto the platform of the Alpine Tower and just laid there due to exhaustion. I got up slowly and, and looked down at the people on the ground who had appeared as the size of ants and just held my hands up like this and said, I made it. <laughs> it felt so good to be up there just to see where I once started and where I was now. What does it take to achieve and go? P is for persistence. Persistence is going to be on a point where majority will stop. E is for effort. Effort is a determined attempt for something. 
All goals require some effort, and most worthwhile goals require much effort. Effort is investing your time, money, energy into your goals. R is for reflection. You have to reflect on the number of times you failed and the number of mistakes you made in order for you not to make those same mistakes in the future. Be truthful with yourself and the future is bright for you. S is for sacrifice. The sacrifice is the act of giving up something in order to see the bigger picture. In life, you have to make sacrifices, even if it means sacrificing your queen to get the king. E is for enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is an intense desire for achieving something. An intense desire can be extremely helpful in achieving your goals. V is for vision. With a clear-eyed vision of your goals and where you see yourself achieving your goals, I don't see why you won't be able to achieve them. E is for encourage. Encourage is giving confidence and hope to someone. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself and no one else is there to do it for you. R is for responsibility. If your goal is to achieve something daily in order to receive the ultimate goal, you have to be responsible enough to obtain and complete those daily tasks in order to achieve the ultimate goal. A is for ambition. Ambition is a strong desire for achieving something with hard work and determination. N is for never stop climbing. Once you're almost at the top of that tower, don't think about coming down. Instead, continue climbing. C is for commitment. Once you finally confirm that you want to achieve a certain goal, the next step is to commit to that goal. <coughs> e is for end. Once you're finally at the top of that tower, you can finally look down, look down at the number of times you failed and the obstacles you faced and the number of times you persevered through those obstacles. It's time to create a new goal, and the process repeats itself. What does it take to achieve a goal? Perseverance. Thank you.